The Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster was the world's most catastrophic nuclear accident, occurring at 1.23 a.m. on April 26, 1986, in the former Soviet Union. During safety tests at the number 4 reactor at the plant near Pripyat in northern Ukraine, an uncontrolled nuclear chain reaction was triggered. A massive steam explosion erupted, igniting multiple further blasts, followed by a nuclear meltdown. This caused widespread discharge of radioactive fallout, 400 times that of the Hiroshima bomb, which massed and spread over the USSR and Western Europe over the next nine days. The Chernobyl disaster was the first Level 7 event defined as a major accident and the highest measure to occur on the international nuclear event scale. The community of Pripyat was rapidly evacuated and became a radioactive ghost town almost overnight. 31 people lost their lives in the immediate aftermath and estimates of total fatalities caused by the incident due to radiation sickness and associated cancers are as high as 200,000. As well as these horrific statistics, the cataclysmic nuclear meltdown has also given rise to the mysterious stories of paranormal warnings, cries from beyond and alien intervention around this disaster. Here are three unexplained phenomena which emerged in the years following the Chernobyl meltdown. Number 3. The Blackbird In early April 1986, just before the meltdown, many technicians working in the control room at Chernobyl experienced terrifying sightings of a huge dark-winged creature. The humanoid being was described as like a large black headless bird spreading a giant 20-foot wingspan and with red glowing eyes at the top of its torso. It was sighted flying in the sky above Chernobyl for days, with reports continuing to increase until the morning of April the 26th, just before the explosion. People who witnessed the creature were also plagued with terrifying nightmares and received threatening phone calls. Some had bizarre first-hand encounters with the seemingly mutated creature, which later became known in local legend as the Blackbird of Chernobyl. The firefighters who initially rushed to Reactor 4 had not been informed of the origin of the blaze and acted in the belief that it was a simple electrical fire. They were to be exposed to massive radiation levels which saw many of them perish. Those who survived the first onslaught later reported seeing a huge black-winged creature circling amidst the toxic plumes of radioactive emissions spewing from the reactor. Most of these firefighters later became critically ill and met their end through poisoning from the irradiated smoke. Number 2. The Hauntings As with any location where many people have perished, the abandoned town of Pripyat abounds with stories of ghost sightings. Some witnesses have sighted spirits of the deceased still roaming the area. Within the exclusion zone, venturing thrill-seekers have claimed to see zombie-like creatures, some with faces flickering with a digital image. Andrei Kosukov, a nuclear physicist from the University of Buffalo, gave this account of his distressing experience when visiting the Chernobyl site in 1997. I arrived at the abandoned power station at about 7.30 a.m. I proceeded directly to the Reactor 4 sarcophagus where the explosion took place. I could not enter due to the radiation. I stood by the entrance taking radiation and Rentgen readings. I know no one could be inside the old reactor core, but I could hear very distinctly the sound of someone screaming for help, shouting that there was a fire inside. I ran upstairs to tell someone, but they said that when I entered the reactor control room, I was the first person to open that door in three years and the only way to get out inside the reactor is through the doors I came in through. If someone had gone inside the reactor when I was not looking, they would have tripped an alarm that goes off when the reactor door is open mechanically. The reactor door requires a password 
and a handprint, yet someone or something was inside. Later that evening, as we were eating dinner outside the building by the river next to the plant, a floodlight turned on in the room of the installation. There was no way anyone could be inside. As we ate, we figured there was a power surge or something. Then just as my colleague said that, the light turned off. Sci-Fi Channel's Destination Truth team undertook a paranormal analysis at Chernobyl. Wearing radioactivity protective outfits, they investigated the shell of Reactor 4. They recorded many incidents and were astounded to witness the appearance of a human figure on a thermal imaging camera right inside the reactor. Although itself already exposed to lethal levels of radiation, the city hospital had treated many of Reactor 4's first casualties directly after the explosion. To this day, Visitors have an eerie feeling of being watched and sometimes even touched when passing the abandoned building. Apparitions and unexplained shadows are often sighted. Throughout their investigation, the sci-fi team repeatedly spotted multiple figures moving around the now seemingly deserted hospital. One crew member reported being grabbed by an ethereal hand. Number one, the UFO. A UFO conspiracy has grown up around the Chernobyl disaster, fueled by alleged sightings leading up to the explosion. The theory holds not that extraterrestrials caused the catastrophe, but that their intervention saved humanity from widespread obliteration. During the previous month, local aircraft pilots had reported increased UFO activity in the Chernobyl area. Then several people claimed, after the event, to have witnessed flying saucers hovering over the power station a few hours before the reactor meltdown. What turned out to be hundreds of these eyewitnesses testified to viewing an alien craft above the fourth generating unit for a period of about six hours. Those who maintained that the object both existed and was piloted by extraterrestrials have determined that the intervention acted to minimise radiation levels, avoiding a larger and more devastating explosion. While the impact of the meltdown was widespread and damaging, believers in this theory state that it could have been an unimaginable apocalypse destroying half of Europe. On September the 16th, 2002, the Russian journal Pravda confirmed this claim stating that in fact, thanks to alien intervention, the incident had been only a thermal blast, not a nuclear explosion, which would have been much more devastating. At one stage, the area's radiation levels had climbed to around six times the lethal measure. The article cited the experience of the eyewitnesses of viewing a ball of fire slowly floating in the sky, about six to eight meters in diameter and 300 meters from the reactor. One witness, power plant worker Mikhail Ferdisky, testified that he and his team had seen the craft project two beams of crimson light which stretched towards the fourth unit. This intense illumination lasted three minutes until the craft's lights disappeared and it flew off to the northwest. During those three minutes, the nuclear site's radiation levels had dramatically plummeted from 3,000 millirentkins to only 800. The intervention took place in the most crucial stage of the meltdown, averting what would have been a cataclysmic nuclear detonation of the reactor. Private's conclusion was that reducing the radiation levels by nearly four times indicated the extraterrestrial's concern about the Earth's environment.